So then I start by mixing my highlighter with my foundation to create a soft, dewy skin look. I'm just mixing that onto a palette and applying it with the back of my brush. Now moving on to concealer, here I'm using the Savvy Concealer. And you just want to apply that liberally under your eyes, on the bridge of your nose and just around the corners of your nose and then blend it out. Now to set everything here I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte it's Translucent Pressed Powder. Brows here I'm using my MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in Deep Dark Brunette. I'm applying it to the end of my brows first and then with what's left over on the brush I go over the very front of my brows. To create a soft fade to the brows, wipe off the extra product onto a tissue and then apply. Now we're going to set all of that using the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set and here I have it in Red Chestnut. Now for a long lasting eye look, apply a primer first and here I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Apply that to the top and bottom lower lash line. Next I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Rust. This colour nicely complements the red tone that we'll be using today. To create a more defined and clean look, I'm taking some post-it notes and taping that to the corner of my eye like so. This will give us a clean edge at the very end and then we will just blend it out later. For this look today we'll be using a Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, but use any palette that you find, just pick similar colour choices. The colour I'm using here is this rich brownish cranberry colour, and I'm just applying that liberally all over the lid. Using a matte medium brown, apply that to the crease as a transition colour using a fluffy brush. This helps create a well blended look. Now we're going to go in with the darker matte burgundy shadow and apply this into the crease to create depth. For more depth, take an even darker matte brown shadow and apply this at the very corner of your crease with a small fluffy brush. Now we can peel off that post-it note and using the last two darker shadows, blend that harsh line away. Smoke out the other third of your lower lash line with those colours. Now I'm taking the medium matte brown from earlier and applying it to the inner two thirds of my lower lash line for a hazy smoky effect. Light into the look, I'm taking my Open Decay Shadow Pencil in Juju and applying it to my waterline. Now I'm going in with a light highlight colour and bring even more light into the look by applying this to my tip dog. With a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend the edges out. Then I'm going to take a large shade brush and apply a light matte shade to my brow bone. This is optional but I want to very subtly make my brow bone more permanent and I'm going to do this by applying a very low sheen highlight over this. This is also optional but because I have hooded eyes I'm always trying to make this less obvious and I'm doing this by deepening the crease colour some more. And again because I have hooded eyes when my eyes are open you can't see the lid shade so here I'm just applying that colour just slightly above my mobile lid. And of course, what would a Christmas look be without glitter? Here I'm just using a soft gold glitter and applying that on top of my inner corner highlight. Now we're almost done with the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara, quickly line my eyes and apply false lashes. You want to make sure that your lashes are the type that are thicker at the end to give you a wispy, fluttery look. Moving on to the face, I'm going to contour and bronze using my Kiko Bronzing Powder. I'm going to create more of a soft contour by using a large powder brush. blush I'm using here MAC Melba and I'm just going to apply this to the very apple of my cheeks. 
Now moving on to highlighters, which I love. Today I'm going to use Max Moonlight Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It's a soft, pinky highlight, which I think complements the cranberry undertones of this whole look. Now for lips, I think you could go a bright blue base red for this look or a darker berry shade. For now I'm going to take the NYX Lip Pencil on Auburn and using this as a primer for my lips. I've chosen to do a darker sultry bone lip colour so I'm going to take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And there you go. That is my first festive Christmas look for the season. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you try it out. Don't forget to tag me in your pictures. Use hashtag HeyJune so I can see all your wonderful photos. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful festive season and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!